There we go. It's got that thing where it, uh, whatchamacallit, like it's not active if it's not the main screen. Let me change that while we're, I think it's, I think it's an, I think it's day nine of this. I'm not entirely sure. I will definitely uh, change that when I upload it. Okay. So let's start. Let's move that over a bit. There we go. Okay. So there is a lot of things I've done since last time we were here. Increase the volume a bit. Okay. Uh, so originally I had a party of Karsh, Orla, Orla, and uh, Surge, and then I switched to... I switched Karsh for Janice, and then I was like, no, hold up. Uh, there was a there's a few uh, white innate enemies, so I'll have Skelly around. Since he's got higher magic than the other uh, black innate characters I got. Not a lot. Uh, right, I got that item. Okay. Yeah, so we got... Oh. Uh, we got this. We have some other stuff before we go to the Tetra... The Terra Tower. And then, like, the... The end game. Ooh. Nostrum. Yeah, we'll go down. Robo sewer wash. Operate the robot, of course. Yeah, so want the robot not to fall off. White brooch. Ooh, that'll be good. Pick up some items. Cure all. Oh, that's good. We have a bunch of those, but it doesn't hurt to have one more. Okay, we're here. We're going to activate this. I guess we just quit. Okay. Uh, duba duba duba. You can sacrifice one of those for a. Where's the white brooch? Against anti white and white status effects. Yeah, that's it. That's everything. Yeah, this this is where the plot starts getting heavy. It is very it's it's, it's too much. There's so much plot that's 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 gonna be occurring.
Uh, hey, Brad. Yes, a lot of a lot of dialogue, especially this part, this whole section. GGNT. Yes, we knights of the round our way through the end. Perhaps what we are doing is wrong. If this experiment succeeds, we will be able to control time. We will have complete control over history and, in a sense, become like gods. If so, what meaning is there to the history of mankind? But it's too late now. We can't afford to fail in this experiment. If for some reason, anything goes wrong. The anti-annihilation energy will probably overwhelm us. You know, I'm making a game with pre-rendered backgrounds. Or it did start, but it was such a pain. It feels like it'd be difficult. You have to explain all this to me, I still don't get it. It, it is... This, this is where you know that they had something and then all of a sudden it's like, shit. Where do we put all this? We can't spread it around. Like, fuck. Alright, we'll just put it all all here at the end. We're running out of time. For my pre background test? I don't remember if you did or not, Bob. Who knows what the consequences may be. If you did, it might have been uh, a while back. Let me check that out real quick. I'm the Megumin one. Uh, ah, okay. Alright, it's loading. Oh, what is that? White stuff. Is that an HDMI? Okay. Ah, that looks nice. Oh, shit, she moves. What? That is nuts. Look at her moving, moving Megumin to the left. And now to the right. Go in the door. We can't. <laughs> That's fine. It is a point and click. Wow. That's pretty that's pretty nice. I thought it was just like static, but once I started clicking on stuff, I was like, oh shit, she can move. The green arrows are indicators I stole from FF7 to indicate level transfers. Ah, borrow. <laughs> Everything's being borrowed. Uh, shit. All right, I'll do that. In, I'll do that in a bit. There, there is something for for Grobic, but I don't think he's set up properly, and we're gonna fight a couple of things. And I don't remember. If there's a safe point. Uh, further up. Let me lower that just just a smidge. Yeah. The reason I had Skelly instead of Janice is because uh, Janice, just, until like near the end of the game, when you get to the Terra Tower, she only has the her carrot weapon. So she only has two weapons in the game, her base weapon and her uh, rainbow weapon. Kind of, kind of sucks, but... <sighs> oh well. How, that's how it goes. Look at that. Such a cool tech. I, I like I like the uh 
the bare fist characters. They, they throw a bunch of cool stuff. I just want to turn it off. It's a lock. I'm trying, but I guess I gotta kill the dude. Like, I, I don't remember some stuff in it here, but I remember other things. Like, I didn't remember, I forgot that you had to kill things before you can press buttons. The longest part about Chrono Cross for me is the uh, the menuing. Shit! Like getting everyone uh, properly equipped with elements. Damn, Skelly! You're on a roll. Literally. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, we got Meteor Shower from that. Nice. Why is LeBron James and Rick and Morty coming to the Warner Bros. Smash clones? Ah, yes, I too have uh, heard about that. Rick and Morty and LeBron James coming to a multiverse. Yeah. <laughs> That's a thing. Originally, El Nido was nothing but ocean. The El Nido Archipelago is purely artificial, created by fate. It was a remodeling plan that took place 10,000 years ago. Planned to include islands, blessed with nature in the Sea of El Nido. The main island of El Nido, Earth, Earth Dragon Isle, Water Dragon Isle, Black Dragon Isle. Development of elements using the, the energy of the natural world. The distribution of memory terminal devices called the Records of Fate that could monitor and guide people's lives. Uh, she's probably sleeping early. Now you went. Ah, it's all good. It's all good, Bob. Rest, rest well. We'll see you around. The research center staff, who had their memories of the future erased, left the center and began a life outside amidst nature. This is how Fate's Paradise came into existence. And for ten thousand years, Fate has been watching over and guiding the descendants of the staff who left this research center. Everything was in perfect harmony. That is, until 14 years ago, when a boy came into contact with the flame on the night of the storm. Or was the lock released for the elevator again? My mind's been blanking lately. Got it. Okay, that's that. We should be able to hit the switch now since we left the room. Okay, I guess not. Guess we just go here. All right, cool. Code confirmed. Hey, recharge. Nice. Yeah, there is a mysterious being inside. We have to bring someone here that knows what this is. Yes, I think we can do that right now because we have access to the elevator and to more specifically that room. We'll go to the first floor. Basement is still locked. We don't have access to the basement floor.
Why? Uh, we don't. We just don't have access. We don't have clearance. Okay. All right, Skelly. For now, you're just gonna take a take a chill pill. Yeah, no encounters on. I don't want to fight anything. Oh, we don't want to touch those lasers. Now do we? This cannot be. This is the ancient super weapon that was under development in Poor. But what is it doing here? It looks complete. Strong arm. I think he can equip it. He should have a... Yeah, he's got a level 7. Uh, Nate. Whoops. A secret weapon banned by the poor army. I think that one's a physical attack, but... I ain't gonna use him. Whoa. Whoa. No, not the fourth floor. We don't want to go up there. I mean, we might as well because we got plot. Oh, shit. But we got to work our way up to the plot on the fourth floor. We got to go to the third floor, then the fourth floor. I mean, okay, it doesn't really matter because it's all confusing as hell, but <laughs> we're going to go in order. All right, here we go. Here's some weird stuff. We control human emotions by using neurotransmitters. That means that by manipulating the nerve transmitters inside their brains, it's possible to control the feelings and even the personalities of humans. Uh, fate uses the records of fate to connect directly to the brains of the humans with whom they, have, they come into contact. Fate not only imprints what actions the humans should take into their brains, but also rewrites their personalities and feelings. Memory scanning and imprinting is not that difficult a thing. As a matter of fact, it is possible to simulate the thoughts and feelings of each individual. These are all just electric signals that flow around the circuitry of the brain, after all. The vessels of flesh can now be reproduced through cloning. And the soul, stored within these fresh, fleshly vessels, can be simulated as well. Thus, one could even go so far as to say that death itself no longer exists. However, it comes at the cost of the, des of the destruction of the individual, the loss of variation. In which case, is there truly life where there is no death? This is all the mad science part of the game. The life forms on this planet developed from single-celled microorganisms to protozoans, then from fish to amphibians, from reptiles to mammals, and eventually to humans beginning with a cerebral neocortex which only exists in higher mammals. The anthropod brain enlarged at an accelerating pace until it becomes the human brain we know. Could the reason for the abnormal development of the human brain be the biological contamination caused by Lavos? Then follows the humans are really a heterogeneous life form, or foreign matter, as far as the planet is concerned. Humans are a sudden mutation caused by the contact with Lavos, an alien life form that fell to this planet from space. That is why humans are, biologically speaking, unbalanced and complete. Internally inconsistent and disconnected, human existence is plagued by contradictions. An incomplete species torn between love and hatred, whose very being is self-contradictory. Now, there, there are some translation issues with this, 
uh, humans, it's basically saying like all humans were, you know, were, were caused because of Lavos. No, uh, after a certain point when Lavos, when humans came into contact with Lavos, you know, they got magic and they kind of messed around with their, uh, with their cells and stuff. So that's why we have the cave uh, people like Isla that don't have magic, but then all of a sudden, which is pre Lavos, and then once Lavos comes down, everyone else has been affected, which is like the people in, of Zeal. And I don't want to go through anymore because then my brain will start hurting. <laughs> Well, yeah, combots. Please hit. Please hit. I'll take it. Uh, yeah, we're fine. Orla's fine. She absorbs uh, red. Red attacks. Oh no, no, not combat. The combat is for uh, for for Orla. Gunner, get ya! Skelly's fine. Damn, Skelly is fucking really tanky. Vigora is the best element in the game because it it uh basically freezes your stamina for a bit or lets you have quote unquote more stamina. Hellbound. Why would we get this so late? Weird. It's a level two uh, element. I don't know why we're getting it this. What do know? That's Hell Soul. Yeah, no, Hellbound. Okay, never mind. That's a level four. All right. The DNA records and are poems and music, adenine and thymine, guanine and cytosine. Probably butchered that. Rhythm and melody. Perhaps the DNA of the ones who make contact with the flame is recomposed by the sound they generate within. I wonder if life forms are just dreaming in an endless flow of music. Hints, hints, hint. <laughs> Rainbow shell, nice. How many do we have? That's what I want to know. We got five. Okay. We can make a couple of uh, rainbow gear. Ah, I did not go get that. Okay. We're gonna make a slight detour. I mean, we could get it later, but we'll, we'll get it right now. Not since I remembered about it. I forgot about the master hammer. At least I think I forgot it. I don't know, it's been so long since I played this game.
Uh, oh no, never mind. We 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 got it. Yeah, we can make rainbow weapons. I do have the master hammer. Uh, it's a weapon. Let's see, I just need to get shiny items, shiny materials, which you have to kill enemies with with summons. Well, that's kind of annoying. It's really it's an interesting way to uh, get materials. Well, we're not going to worry about that. Everyone gather around. Let's see. In the 11th century, a scientist by the name of Luca tra indicated the possibility of time travel through the use of a time egg, which utilizes miniature black holes. Whether this could actually be possible or not is still the subject of intense debate, and no conclusions have been made. According to her theory, by rotating a single point of supergravity, space-time continuum can be drawn in, thus making it possible to transform that singular point which pulls in everything else into a ring formation. Using this ring as a gate between dimensions, it should be possible to travel back and forth between various space-times. Time eggs may have already existed during the reign of the ancient dynasty we've heard legends about. We shouldn't have to rely on theories from an ancient civilization that may not have even existed. We can do this ourselves. But the legends say they alter time using a time egg. That's just a legend. There isn't even any evidence to prove that this ancient dynasty ever existed. The experiment should be starting soon. After we discovered an unusual gravitational field in the barren sea of El Nido, we built artificial islands and established Chronopolis. This is all done to facilitate our top secret research. But now our research is about to come to its end. Once the final adjustments are made, the experiment will commence. Just a matter of time. So everyone should keep up their good work. The chief hasn't returned yet. He hasn't? And we'll have to hold off until he gets back. Time is not absolute, but elastic. It is both relative and subjective. Individual differences emerge as time changes. Perhaps people, all life forms, exist in their own separate strands of time. Is time independent, marching to the beat of its own drum? Puh, ridiculous. Stupid. <laughs> We're going to in a simulation of phase shifting. Uh, this, is, this institution was established under the utmost secrecy by the central government. It may appear to be a military research center, but the actual subject of our research is time itself. The lost ancient magic civilization of zeal. If it really did exist, Someone may have even traveled through time to this period. Yeah. Magnify. Nice. The chief said he was going out for a walk. He's probably by the dock somewhere, gazing out to sea. I know where that is. I know who that is. Yeah, thank you. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. Don't want to fight you guys. Just want to carry on. I think maybe one more fight will, will be fine for any stat ups we need, but I think for the most part we're good. We don't have to fight every single thing. Although there are some, there are I don't know which enemies it might be these ones that drop uh, meteor shower I think it is
Uh, the Time Research Lab, which served as the foundation of this research center, appeared out of nowhere in the year 2300 and was headed up by the scientific genius Belfazar. However, at the peak of his career, he simply vanished. We've continued his work and have come this far. Our work is almost complete. Well, it's about time I head back. The experiment's about to begin. And here's where they start uh, connecting Chrono Trigger and Chrono Cross quite a bit. Uh, which, it's, it's, it's nice. Oh, hey, you know, we get to talk about Chrono Trigger, but it just makes things a little more confusing. So the left side, I didn't go to because there's there's people guarding it. Like, oh, the, you know, we're about to have an experiment, but the chief ain't here yet. Uh, so the chief should be here. Yeah, experiments underway, access denied. So those guys that are here are gone because the experiment's happening. So they're over there now. The record of fate is exposed. <sighs> okay, here we go. Two worlds that are so close in nature, yet so far removed from one another, exist in separate dimensions. These worlds are under the constant observation of, and are guided by, the main pro computer of Chronopolis, fate. Fate has been manipulating the world in which El Nido lies in order to avoid any major change to the history it knows. In an event of on El Nido influences the main continent, the year 2400, in which fate exists, would change. Or if. This paradox could potentially lead to great disaster. The records of fate, fate's terminals, collect data from around the world and input guidance directly into the minds of the user. In this covert manner, Fate is able to control the lives of people without them knowing. Guided by Fate, the people of El Nido lead harmonious lives. In a sense, they're nothing more than puppets of Fate. An instruction to the young girl in Arnie 01 to give up uh, going to the main continent to become a poet. An instruction to the man in Arnie 02 to give up on becoming a fisherman. A plan to avoid any point of contact with the main continent so as not to affect history. However, ever since the formation of the Dead Sea 10 years ago, fate has been unable to intervene directly with World 01. The best fate could do was to cross the dimensions and receive data through the records of fate. And with much difficulty, fate succeeded in binding Miguel to the Dead Sea as a watchman. This is the observation room. This is where we observe the two parallel worlds. Main computer in Chronopolis is called Fate. What are you hiding here, big boy? We're about to find out. All right, Skelly. Uh, boost your strength by blowing a magic balloon. Uh, hmm, hmm. Black hole. If it kills him, it kills him, and not it does, you know, decent damage. Yeah, I'm really glad this doesn't do a lot of damage. The other. The other robots were freaking 
nuts. Nine? That's almost a thousand! <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, so like Orla. You can almost hit 1k here. Card key. Uh, Fate contains a m massive amount of historical data dating up to the year 2400. Uh, Fate is a large-scale prototype completed in the year 2300. It integrated the old mother brain computer circuitry into a more powerful supercomputer. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we're, we're good. So now we can go to the uh, uh, basement one. But first, we're gonna save real quick. And I think we're good with having... Actually, no, we'll keep Skelly because... Uh, I think the next boss is a uh, black innate uh, one, so Skelly would be good for extra tanky tankiness. Yeah, so we need that card key, we can access B1, and then here's where, you know, things go a little intense. Not intense, but like, things get real. Maybe if I don't move, they'll just ignore me. Alright, Orla. <laughs> we're just gonna buff you. That's all we're gonna do. Eagle eyes. Strengthen. It's not enough. Twelve fifty-seven. There we go. I I just really like the the knee two backflip. Just such a so damn cool. Fingerprint and retina scan required. Project Kid. Please step into the circle and hold up your left hand. Analyzing, please stand by. Analysis complete. Fingerprints, retina, and C-class DNA all clear. Data discrepancy due to aging within permissible range. 96% confirmation that this individual is the last registered arbiter. Access granted. Welcome back, Chrono Trigger. Well, that's why. So that's why Lynx needed Mr. S's form. Lynx must must be inside already. Yes, along with the frozen flame. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna take a little peek. I don't think we'll need to worry too much about stuff. We got heal alls, got heals up the wazoo. Hey Jam, what's up? How's it going? Hopefully your day was, uh, your day went well. Arbiter confirmed, access granted. Here we go. <clears throat> Where are we? Is that the frozen flame? Exactly.
It was long, pretty much lurking, but wanted to say hi. Oh, it's all good, Jim. You, you just take your time, relax, chill, get yourself settled. Appreciate the high. <clears throat> the hero of people's prayers, the provider of riches, fame, and power. The bestowers of eternal life, the promiser of peace and happiness. This is the essence of what descended from the heavens in the prehistoric age. The living crimson stone, the frozen flame. Lynx. What took you so long? You had me worried. Worried that you might have perished on the way here. Are you alright? It's no use. I put her soul to sleep. I had to remove any potential obstacle from us having this talk. Who are you? What are you after? Still don't know. I am the human incarnation of fate. The living interface of the fate's computer system. Or, put simply, I too am fate. What? Fourteen years ago, on the night of a terrible storm, the cogs began to turn. That night, Wazuki and Miguel set out to sea carrying a sick child in their boat. The child was you, Surge, after you had been attacked by that panther demon. Your poison wounds were beyond the healing abilities of the doctors in Termina, or even Goldove. So they set sail to Marble in order to see the sage there, not knowing how bad the storm had, would become. Being skilled sailors, the two men were able to survive the storm. They were blown off course and came ashore on this island, where they decided to seek shelter. At this time, this research center was offline due to the severity of the storm. It only took 10 minutes for the system to power back up, but by then, the flame had found you. Contact with the flame healed your young body. That was not all. Once the system security system was rebooted, it would only grant access to you, the Arbiter. Can't imagine the trouble this caused the Fate computer system in achieving its objective. Instead of Fate, there was a standalone circuit that had been kept hidden since the old Mother Brain generation. That circuit was designed to start a malfunction, or more precisely, a rebellion. Who would have thought that such a small bug, a traitor, could exist inside of Fate? A hidden circuit was based on the initial Astrotier model circuit board. Extra logic added by another scientist. Fate itself did not realize that this cur cur uh, circuit was present within the core of its system. Or more correctly, so much dialogue, I swear to God. <laughs> the circuit was programmed so that the moment Fate did detect it, it would erase all record of its detection. Dr. Luca Ashtier. Unbelievably intelligent and incredibly energetic, you might even go f so far as to call her a mad scientist. Of course, I don't think it was she who implemented her theory. This was most likely the work of Balthazar, the first curator of the research center. Fate, bring out the traitor. Bring out Prometheus. Affirmative. Ah, you have finally released me. Welcome back. So you're the real Surge. I've waited a long time for you. I'm glad you made it in time. Surge, I beg you. Please bring an end to the enmity between Fate and the Dragons. Fate, exterminate him. Affirmative, now exterminating Prometheus. No, you can't. Surge, please, for the future of mankind. For the future... Idiot. Destruction to those who oppose the goddess of... Destruction to those who oppose the goddess of fate. Lynx. Why you? Huh. Come, Surge. Show me what the purpose of your life on this planet is. Teach me what it means to be alive. Yeah, it turns out Lynx was just, you know, fate. 
trying to fix a mistake. All right, uh, this is going to be tough because I don't think anyone has Magnify. Let's see, Countdown 5. All right. Yeah, Diminish, though. It's fine. We'll, we'll do less damage, but I, it's okay. So, so will Fate. Or once we get to like one, I'm gonna have everyone guard just to play it safe. Saints, flying unicorn, flying arrow, a unicorn, flying arrow, Ultra Nova. Yeah, I don't think I have a. Uh, Magnify. That's fine. <clears throat> oh no, I'm fully healed. We're good. I could do Mothership. I mean, is gonna help out. Or summon death to wreak doom and destruction. I think we can take. We can do some damage. Three thirty. That's not bad, but uh, we're about to take a lot of damage. Um, we'll do weak-minded. And low res. That's just gonna. I'm fine with Faye just wasting attacks on, on Surge. We're good. Uh, we don't want to take this hit because fields all black. Even with diminish, this move's gonna do a bit of damage to everyone. I was right to block that.
I'm gonna eagle eye Orla. Recommends a countdown, that's cool. Surge. Actually, you know what, Skelly? Just to be safe. Pop a heal. Pop a heal, bud. It's fine, we'll... Get our stamina back. Only does one turn or one attack. Be good. <sighs> That's fine. That's nothing. Skelly tank that. She. One, it's all right. Yeah, heal, heal, heal. <laughs> the, the the bosses are just have like so much health. Oh no, darkness. Everything missed. <laughs> Not even a, a a pity hit. Come on. 165. Ah, it's fine. I'll take it. Blow on health. Surge? Skelly? That's fine. Skelly to take that hit. Double digits. Let's go. Surge? Skelly again. Alright. It's okay, double double digits. Just so everyone's defending. <laughs> okay, good, everyone's alive. Well, Oral is alive. That's 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 a big thing. Ooh, Orla doesn't care about darkness. Let's go. Unge drunk.
is the master of the drunken fists. But she's almost dead, so we're gonna heal. Countdown, it's fine. Almost dead. We should be good before the count goes to two. Hey! Good job, Skelly. Skella was a good pick. Ooh. Those HP growths. No, how could you? I... Fate. The goddess of fate was not meant to die. Uh, huh? Or in blazes am I? Surge, what happened to me? Aha! That's... that's it! Non, aret. Netosh pas. Do not touch it. Kid, I know the feeling you have inside of you. The urge to bring everything to nothing is now stronger than your desire to save everyone. You may want to throw yourself off of the cliff of destruction. That is your imperatif. Receive a play, kid. Do not drag Surge and the others down on into destruction with you. Shut up, you loony. I know what I'm doing. It's too late. There's no turning back now. Fate has fallen. Fate has died. Finally, the time has come. Indeed, the long, endless night shall finally come to an end. Now, for mankind. I shall make you bleed. Feel a million years of this planet's agony, pain, and suffering. Oh, we better get out of there. That's our final dungeon. I I don't remember how long it is. We got a lot of bosses though. <laughs> Terra Tower. Let's come back to life again. In the year 2400, during a counter-time experiment, the flame goes out of control. This causes the dimensions to rip apart, resulting in the time crash. 
Engulfed in an enormous dimensional vortex, Chronopolis was hurled 10,000 years back in time. Maybe this was Lavos' doing. Maybe he saw the possibility of his being destroyed by the adventurers in 1999 and decided to create a new outcome in order to escape destruction. And so when the experiment took place, Lavos pulled the frozen flame back to the ancient past where he was only just awakening. But that ain't all. At the same time, another city from a different dimension's future was also thrown back in time. Dinopolis, the future city of the repti Reptites, Azela's descendants who had evolved more closely with the planet. This is Lavos in an attempt to save itself summon Chronopolis from the distant future. Perhaps our planet summoned Dinopolis back into the past, maybe as a measure against Chronopolis and humanity. It wasn't the dragon gods who sealed away the frozen flame. What actually happened is that fate used the flame to divide and seal the dragons. Now that fate has been defeated, the dragons will join together again to start their revenge. Uh, OBS is not liking all of this. Just, just get through like the next minute or so. OBS, you can do it. You're good. I feared it would come to this. Didn't want to have to fight with you if it could have been avoided. Adieu, Serge. Adieu. Give me a freaking break. You mean to tell me we were being used all this time? Yeah. Damn. Sun is done, although we may not like it. In any case, we need to make our way into that floating tower. Yes, we cannot just twiddle our thumbs and do nothing. The only problem is... They had to find a way up there, right? It's not like the great SS Invincible can make it up there either. There has to be a way. Hmm. At least our objective is clear. I don't know how, but we must find a way. So, like, whatever happened to Kid after that? Doesn't look like she'll ever wake up. Indeed. She was resting at Radius's place. Her spirit seems to be possessed by the past. A powerful item is needed to, in order to dispel it. There's no sense staying here. Come on, mateys. Let's shove off. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna have. Oh, I'll keep scaling the party. I don't remember the next, the next place we go.
but... i take a quick break in the meantime. I will see you guys in a bit. Freaking how? No, no. Shoot. Come on, Bowser. No. There we go. Yes. No. What? I was pressing the jump button. <laughs> what the? F oh. Adam, too. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Whoa, ho. I didn't know they can do that. If you can afford the hearts. <laughs> the King of Clubs. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop. Stop. Jesus. <laughs> That's true. I could have just ignored that baby. Aww. Oh, they came for Mama at the- Oh, that is sad. <laughs> Damn you, Nintendo, for making me feel like- Ooh, space jump! <laughs> I felt like a monster until I got space jump. <laughs> but I think I got the star without even soiling my pants. My hands. I'm such a genius. Alright, back from the break. Hope you guys had a good one. It's just quick, short. One to go get one to go rehydrate as well. So I got more more water. And Nina. He's been wanting to hop in. Good girl. I had a chat. I had a stream, Nina. Ooh, say hi, not uh grab them. <laughs> Good girl. <clears throat> oh. Thought you're going to give me a kiss, Nina. <laughs> All right. She'll, she'll pop around every now and then. <clears throat> uh, so, let's go fix kids' uh, ailment, shall we? Because we have uh, one of the few things. We have the Master Moon. That I could have used against Fate, but decided not to. I think... I don't remember. Uh, let's see. Uh... I don't know if I should do this now or wait until I get the Chrono Cross. Or Time Egg. I don't... I don't... I think it's a Time Egg. Which... Shit, I don't remember how to get that.
Yes, Nina. You making <laughs> giving me headbutts? Give me headbutts on my arm. <laughs> You're so affectionate, Nina. Come here. Come on. I'll be right here with me. There you go. That way they can see you. Okay, Nina. I think, uh... Oh, we've been here. <clears throat> I think we gotta talk to Balthazar. There he is. Or the prophet. The poor soldiers have withdrawn from Viper Manor. What do you plan to do now? Uh let's see. Huh. I guess not. Uh, well, we do have the Star Fragment. We could get, uh, I'm gonna need sp Sparky for this. Or Starkey. You wanna head out, Nina? Is my lap not good enough for you? <laughs> During streams? Or Starkey. Oh, all right. You guys are we'll have to, you know, settle for looking at my my ugly mug because of you. I discovered a mysterious object down below, but there's a nasty monster guarding it. No matter how many times I hack away at it, it doesn't seem to have any effect. I tried some elements too. There are some that work and some that don't. Okay. Uh, so. Of Janice. And I'm going to equip Starkey with a bunch of. That's not kicking in router. That won't work anymore, Nino. But now you're just be unplugging uh, my mic. Yeah, this next next enemy is very annoying. Okay. We should be good. That should be plenty. God, I hope that's plenty. Good 
Because uh, this this next boss uh, only fire. Oh, well, not fire. Well, it's fire, but only red elements will affect it. You know, I need the I need that stick. Oh shit! Big ones went after me. Good girl. <laughs> that, man, she's she's held on to both of my thumbs. I cannot play anymore. You're so affectionate. You're so clingy too. That's okay. I'm not mad. Oh man, hear those crits, but it's zero damage. Uh... Let you do a, th a thing first. Okay. Uh, that's a lot. I don't want to use that. Because my goal is the summon at the end. Easy. Strengthen. Oh, we might not even have to do that, but... Might as well. Okay. One. Don't you do anything. Two. Swear to God. Salamander. Alright, this might kill it. Hopefully. Okay. Inferno. Top it off. There we go. Yeah, only red elements will damage it. It's such an annoying boss. Wow. Starkey ship in this world not broken. Starkey, I'm happy. Could that be the reason why we have air down here? Affirmative. Starkey ship create a special force field. Starkey think in the other world. Starkey ship is in pieces. And the parts are buried underground, but still working. Yeah, it opened. Yeah, everything is in order. Navigation system is operational. Starkey's bed is nice and cozy, too. And this takes us to Terra Tower. This ship is only big enough to fly Starkey. Then what do we do? Leave it to me.
The engine may be a bit rusty, but otherwise perfect. Oh yeah, that. Hmm. Maybe we can use this. Starkey may be able to scrounge up more stuff. Starkey will come back later. Easy does it. What's this? It's an anti-gravity device. If you attach this to your boat, it will fly to Terra Tower easily. All we need now is a facility to install it. I remember there was a dock inside of Chronopolis. Alright, let's be on our way to Chronopolis. God, I love Starkey so much. Let's see. Starkey need this and that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we got this. We good. This should do the trick. Don't you, have the, don't you have to load that thing on the boat? What are you talking about? We need to attach a stabilizer to keep the auto gyro from spinning out of control. I don't really understand, but let him handle it. Time to get to work. Phew. Sorry, I'm done. All you did was load it on the boat. Negative. I mean, come on, Starkey. Yeah, all you did was put it on the boat. <laughs> yes, we're ready. We should be good. We don't have to go to Terra Tower right away. Never mind, we're going to Terra Tower right away. We should be able to get off Terra Tower, hopefully. I don't exactly remember. I usually just go <laughs> once I get here. It's like I'm ready to just beat the game. Go. But we'll see. I don't think we need a time egg or chrono cross. With with the master moon, it's plenty to go snap kid out of out of her coma. No, Nina. Oh shit. Keep on moving, Nina. Keep on moving. Don't kick router. Don't kick router. <laughs> Just keep on moving. There we go. That's fine. Okay. Now if I'm ever playing online and it starts getting all laggy, blame Nina because she likes to kick router. New Terra Tower, yeah. Because she wants attention. And it's not an excuse, it's a legit reason. Shit will start happening. Okay, let's go wake up kid. Kid is resting in bed. She hasn't come out of her coma yet. Uh, let's see, because the thing is... I think I need that, but I think with the Master Moon, we should all be able to get in there. Oh, uh, sorry, Starkey, I don't need you here. What's up? <laughs> Are you mad that I called you, uh, that I called you out? Are you mad I spoke the truth, Nina? Uh, 
Uh, let's get back Orla. Like two blue innates. What? Yes. Wait. Hold up. Are you equipped? No, you're not. That's okay. I got this. Luge, I got icebergs. Ice lance. Aqua balls. We're like, what's with all the blue innates? Well, place we're going in has a lot of red innate enemies but we gotta we need these these lovely ladies to cool things down huh hey it's the princess let me see whoa i think you're right i wonder what happened think we should help her nah not our job yeah i guess so probably nothing we can help with anyway yep hey Heartless animals. Ah, sis. But the princess is bound by the past, and even we can't bring her back here. Look closely. See that? I'm gonna move this a little bit, Nina, so you can, you know, lay there. Hey, it's the, the time egg? Yes, although it's not in its complete form. Did that girl with the glasses make it? Probably. Even though it's in its incomplete form, if we can focus our powers into it. Oh, I guess I did have it. I, like I said, I don't remember. It's been a while since we since I played this. Since I was streaming it. <laughs> and maybe it'll work. Yeah. Okay, new master. Yep, it's you. We're going to lend you our powers for a little bit. We're sending you back to the past where the princess is trapped. We only have one chance. Take care of the princess. Master Moon. Yes, okay. So without the Master Moon, uh, only Surge goes. Uh, Miss Kid and Mistress Luca are stuck in the back room. I'm sorry that I lack of the power to help you. Is Uh... No? Uh... Uh... Oh my god. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, L... Triangle... Hot shot. I don't think it's anything we need here, but it'll be for later. Oh, I think it's a weapon, actually. Yeah, this whole section is kind of intense. Oh my god, dude, just let me kill you. <laughs> Oh. Oh yeah, you're frozen. Jesus, I thought that would have taken more damage. No, well, it's fine. Now we know.
thanks a lot, mister. I didn't make it out in time, so... Had a, had a hide in here. There's still more of us hiding in the rooms. You gotta help him, guys. Yeah, it'll be fine. We got this. Thanks, guys. Here, take this. Ooh, rainbow shell. Okay. Perfect. Irene's will take uh, no damage. Damn. Uh, I guess they're still lava boys. Shit, that didn't kill you? Damn. Yeah, Irene's is the uh, the stronger magic user. That's that's fine. Phew! I held my breath so long, I nearly did. Anyway, here, I think this is my way of saying thanks. I could in straight through that door on the right, on the right's Granny Lara's old bedroom. I'm gonna left is Lucas' room, but Sis will get angry if you go in there. We're gonna have to go in there. Give a dress. There's a line on the floor here, it reads, One month, one day. I failed. I was so close to stabilizing the time axis, too. Uh, don't you children ever touch my space capsule. In case of fire, use this ice gun. Not for children under 12 or the mechanically challenged. Sorry, Master, this is all the power I have. Oh, there goes Irene's. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> You're taking a, a... I forgot the the route for this, too. Okay, hey, as long as Orla's still here with me in battle, we're good. I'm gonna speed this up. We got. We got to get out of here. We're we're in a hurry. Okay. Please don't take Orla away. Let me have a couple more seconds with her. Ah. He's gone. Damn, well, I can't do anything there. Artist cape. Nice. Ah, all by myself. Ah, too bad I'm not a... Black and eight, or else I would use, you know, black hole. For the chance of death.
All right, cool. Avoided. All right, this this should be the last kid we save. I hope we still have enough time to to get to the end because I don't know. <laughs> I felt like my or oral was taken away way too soon, which concerns me. Wow, mister, you sure are strong. When I grow up, I want to be strong like you. Hey, here, mister, take this. A notion. Oh, and there are other kids hiding in this room. No, they're not. I got them all. They're going to be removed. Remove it? Yes. Let's go. This should be... Fuck, now there's three of them? Nice. Okay. Saves me... Saves me this one stamina point. Come on. Give me those crits again. Oh. Baby. That's how we do it. One more. Come on. Three for three. Shit. Alright, sir. You tried. <laughs> Man, that frozen effect lasted like literally not even a full turn. Come on, Surge. There we go. Just need the one hit. Nice gun. Yeah, this part gets in. This game gets intense. And you get to straight up live out, uh, you know, kids' past. It's burning. Our home is burning. Luca, all my friends, they're there. Why? Why did this happen? You, are you going away? Or are you going to leave me? I'm going to be left all by my own again, aren't I? 
everyone I have ever loved has gone far, far away. Yeah. I won't leave you. It's gonna go away for a bit. Really? Do you mean that? Your cheek. It's wet. Thank you. Thank you for saving me. Will I... Will I ever see you again? What? Where did you go? No, come back. Don't leave me. Please, no. Don't leave me all alone. You think uh, Masa and Moon would have left me just enough to let her know? We'll see her again. Just some sort of comfort. But no, they were drained of all their power. Right, Nina? They can only the plot can only do so much. Serge, how have you been? I'm right here. Thank goodness. This must be the power of Serge's love. Ho ho ho. Ah yes, kid. Lucia is waiting for you in her lab in Viper Manor. She wanted to give you something. Anyway, there's no rush. I suggest you rest here for the day. What? My wound? Link stabbed me. What are you talking about? Oh, wait a minute. Not again. I lose my memory sometimes. Whenever I'm in a dangerous situation where I might get hurt, I just seem to disappear. And when, I wake, and when I come to, I wake up somewhere safe without a single scratch. The thing is, I can't remember what happened. I don't get it. Anyway, it's happened to me plenty of times in the past, so it's nothing to worry about. Come on, mate, let's go. I tell you, that's very concerning. You just poof, gone, and then poof, you're back, and all is well? It's, you know, that's, there's gotta be some explanation for that. Anyway, it's best not to dwell on that. <laughs> we do get an answer for that. I think we do, actually. I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember. Some of the story, some of the, like, the lore stuff I kind of have forgotten over the years. I just know literally the basic stuff, or I remember most of the basic stuff. Uh, her lab is on this side, right? No, it's just a cat. Hey, kitty. It's on the next floor. Yeah, downstairs. Should be right here. This is it. Should be this. No, it's not. Oh, it's this one. Yeah, because that's the treasure vault. The trap puts us here. I've been waiting, kid. There is something I want to give you. Huh? Me? If I sold to give it to you, then the time was right. It's for you. From Luca. You knew Luca? Here. My dear kid, how are you doing? I wonder how old you are as you read this letter. Perhaps you matured into a beautiful woman and are raising a happy family by now. I was hoping to talk to you in person when you were old enough, 
but just in case something happens, writing my feelings down on paper and leaving it with Lucia. Perhaps you already know, or perhaps you yourself are also now caught up in some historic crisis as a result of all this. But anyway, a long time ago, we, my friends and I that is, changed the future in order to save our planet from being devoured by Lavos, a monster from some unknown planet. We still feel proud of the role we played in saving our world, and how we were so freely able to change the flow of time. But sometimes I think of the darker side of what we did, what has become of the future that was supposed to have existed. Where did the time that is now no longer allowed to exist go? It is true that, thanks to our altering the flow of history, we were able to save so many lives and prevent so much sadness and suffering. But when you think of it, we also caused the death of so many that were meant to have come into existence in the timeline we destroyed, and also caused new sadness and suffering further along in the new future we created. That is why I worry that someone might seek revenge on us for what we did. I've had a constant dread in my heart that someone in our new future will travel back in time, just like we did, try to kill or capture my friends and me. So, even if something dreadful does befall me, kid, know that what was meant to happen will happen, and that I was always prepared for the worst. Oh, don't you think the great Luca is going down without a fight? Got a reputation to uphold. Whatever lies waiting for us around the next corner, better watch out, because it's going to find a mean counterattack coming this way. Or coming its way. Uh, kid, when I think of you, I remember someone I once met a long, long time ago in the distant past. <laughs> but she was the complete opposite of the you in this timeline. So quiet and gentle. Someday I'll also tell you about her, when you are ready to know of your real name and heritage. I'm not the slightest bit worried about you, kid. I know that no matter what happens, he will always be out there looking out for you. Or perhaps he has already found you and is there by your side as you read this. If so, hello Janice. Please take good care of my little sister for me. There's so much more I want to tell you, but I must leave it for another time. Don't worry, everything is okay. We will overcome whatever woes may occur. That's for certain. Later, when you're all grown up, I'll come visit you and we'll talk over tea. I look forward to that day. Well, anyway, kid, until we meet again. Forever and ever, your friend, no matter which timeline it is, yours sincerely, Luca Ashtier. P.S. Cut out the tomboy act. Believe me, you'll become a beautiful young lady one day, or my name isn't Luca the Great. Sorry, but I'd like to be alone for a while. Can't believe you, sis. You're the one who's always laughed about how there's nothing definite or certain in this world. Sis. A rainbow shell. Hey, we got a rainbow shell out of it, though. I mean, yeah. Silver, silver linings. Silver linings. God damn, these doors will, don't fucking open. Alright, let us make our way. Ah, there it is. Okay. Wait a couple seconds before. Alright. Okay. It's fine. OBS crash. Don't worry. Uh, just randomly happened. Uh. Hopefully, not much was missed. We got uh, a rainbow shell. We also got kids 
level 7 tech while I'm here. Hot shot. The death flow machine invented by Lu Luca. Okay. Uh, where was I going? I was making my way downtown, walking fast to Terra Tower. I think that's where we're going. Uh, okay. Okay, Terra Tower is going to be an interesting... Interesting dungeon. Okay. We're not letting the the nine-year-old, right? Nine-year-old? Yeah, we're not letting the nine-year-old in the party. Because I didn't equip anything on her. She already scarred the, the red dragon. I'm not going to do that to another enemy. Uh, let's see. I guess for a safe bet... You could have Karsh in the party. Or Skelly. Skelly was doing very good. Plus he's tanky. Yeah, I'll have Skelly in the party. This will be safe. Alright. I think that's all I needed to do. Oh. Uh, but! I gotta go back. Uh, I don't know if I need Starkey for this. Or I forget. I miss, I miss having Draggy and Starkey in the party, but I gotta use other people. Uh, because... You know... Gotta use other people. There we go. Starkey wonder if Starkey can find anything else. Hmm, only junk. Wow, so this is where it was. Starstruck. There we go. Easy does it. Hey, yeah, we got his last... Call on Starman Guardian to do Special Attack MK3. Because Starkey's tech summons a fucking uh, Gundam, essentially. Well, not really a Gundam. Essentially a Gundam, but you know, bring he brings out a Mecha. Mechas are awesome. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, right. Switch the party order. Alright, uh, what is it? It disconnected, but it still says 3 hours 16 minutes. Alright, cool. We'll, we'll get as much done of Terra Tower. That way, next time I stream this, which will be the end, the finale, uh, I guess I can hook up Live alive, and we'll do a little bit of that afterwards. Ah, okay. The first. This is good. This is good. This is great. Well, that's yellow. We want the opposite innate, which is green. Um. I could uh, bring out another green innate, but I think one is fine. One is enough.
The orchard lands have dried up and withered. It is your will to choose destruction. Let's say, sort of boss rush. But it's still like a, a dungeon. Character. Uh, Alright, we're gonna eagle eye you, Karsh. Because you will be our main source of output. Yeah, Orla. Omega Yellow. Uh, he's fine. He's fine. Just, just, just patch yourselves up. There we go. That's it. We're good. Lowers defense, spirits up, buffs some defense, that's fine. It's fine, don't worry about it. Oh my god, stop going for her. Stop going for her. He, he knows she's our healer. Axiomatic is physical base, I'm not gonna... I might not do a lot of damage. Okay. God, this guy's just trying to, you know, get the field green. Just heal up, Orla. Just heal us up. She's fine. I hope. Nah, she dead. Shit. Do I have I have full revival? But I'm gonna hold off on that. Okay. Debuffs, buff, it's fine. Okay. Well, now I'll bring back Orla. up. I should have given her uh, uh, heal all as well. Since it's a green and just, just for this boss. But I was like, nah, I don't think I'll need it. We'll be fine. My boy Karsh here. Oh, babe, he's about to absorb all that. It's nothing. Does nothing to him. He absorbs it. Well, they planned ahead. Good job, Karsh. Ra Razzly would also have been a good choice. Probably a better choice because it's uh, she's stronger magically. Ooh, yellow field. Nice. 
Okay. I believe the next one's the water one. Just because of all this. I could be wrong. Probably am. That's just a that's just a wall. Um, is it? Yeah, it is. I don't want to fight these guys. I want to go down. Hey, you know, not bad. Like, not a single encounter and all this. I'm a pretty good at dodging stuff. Ah, uh, there's a fight. Yep. Psych. Tech those. Most from. Guys, check the left side. It's, it's fine. It's probably nothing good. Oh, no, that's, that's that one. Okay. We're good. Oh. When did I have that on? <laughs> Is that why I didn't fight anyone? Oh my god. Thunk. Kinda of sad. You know that it only did 24 damage. Yeah, this is. Oh, no, no, we use Kiro. This, this is why I said this place is a. Boss rush, because it's not really. Where the what the hell are we supposed to go? Well, where are we supposed to go if not down here? Oh, right, right there. That's where we're supposed to go. There we go. Uh, I don't think there's a safe point anywhere down here. Like, if, if we fight dudes, it's fine. We kind of need some bonus stats. But I'd rather not fight uh, if I can avoid it. I know it's like bad to avoid them because right now it's good. You gotta fight a couple of fights to get some, you know, some some small growth. But uh, they help out a bit, which is good. But you could just like not fight, and you'll still be good. Surge. Surge. 
You finally made it this far, Surge. What was that? Are you human? When I was still human, I have... I was locked up here, and I have been ever since. The tower is a fortress belonging to the ancient Reptites, a symbol of revenge brought against mankind by the dragons. With the defeat of fates, the seal has been broken, and this tower has surfaced. In the eyes of the dragons, we humans are the foes. A brain that has developed to three times its original size in the span of three million years. We humans have evolved at an enormous rate because of our contact with Lavos' flame. In the sense, mankind is Lavos' offspring. Yeah, this is the line where it's... Yeah, it's like, in a way, you know, we're kind of born from Lavos. No. In a way, we've inherited Lavos' you know, abilities to evolve or something like that. We humans are extraneous to this planet. Now, how will you fight, Surge? Same as usual. Uh, this is... Are we fighting yet? I don't know. If I remember the order of the of the bosses we fight, we would be I I, I, I would be all right. I feel more comfortable going through the the freaking dungeon. Pack of lies. I gotta get that for... I got that for Dracula. It's not a miserable pile of secrets, but, you know, it's something. Fender Plus. We'll be fine. The good thing with Orla is, like, she's also good for support. But this whole, this whole area, this whole section is why I'm convinced it's the, it's the blue one that we're going to fight. want to... Yeah, just... Oh my god. Fine, we'll fight. He's one of those that will forever stay in your way. Gross. Uh, his, his gimmick also brings out some, you know, more enemies. I have like a bajillion turns. So it's so annoying. <laughs> like, oh, it's my turn. Then it's my turn. Then it's my turn. And I'll go one more time. Shit. I didn't even mean to go that far. But I'm going so Super fast. Come on. Shit. And then for whatever reason, my... It, it doesn't read my analog inputs that well. Sometimes I'll be running, and all of a sudden I'm just, like, walking. It's weird. I, don't, I, I think something's off with my, uh, with the dead zones. I might have to. I don't know. I try to calibrate it, but I don't know. I think I think it's just something with the, with the analog movement in general. Or it's my controller. That's also another reason. All right, throw that there. Shortcut. There we go. 
Who are we gonna fight? Is it the water one? Not yet. Oh, red one. Even better. Heal plus. Okay, we have yellow field. Uh, anyone can use a thank goodness. Uh, I'll hold off on that. If this is really good to use for, uh, for bringing out those summons. Yeah, heal all, that's what we got. Uh, I think we're good on stuff. Uh, ah, she can finally use Blue Whale. Excellent. That's fine. I bring in another blue unit. Mm. I think we're fine with Karsh. Karsh is good. We're good. Many have bled, suffered, and perished. It is your turn to die. We'll get through as much of Terra Tower as we can. This is somewhat long. Oh, I just needed one. I could do one more hit. Lower attack. He's scared. Smack. Ooh. You don't care about, you know, reduction. Uh... Yeah, let me get rid of the... Let me reset the field effect a bit. Or interrupt it. Got the luge. Surge is next. I'm gonna blue field this this whole place. Nope, never mind, he's a tablet. He used to, what an asshole. Three! Good lord. That's fine. Eagle eyes. It's good. I want to do Vigora, but I'm still going to get interrupted. I'll hold off on this. We're all low on stamina. Jesus. Okay, now I'll use Vigora. Yeah. Holy shit. I guess we don't need to use it. <laughs> He's dead. All right, cool. Setting up, I was setting up Orla and then Surge comes in with two crits. 
Or I was like, Surge, the fuck? Like, you're about to see some, you know, you're about to see an ass whooping. That's what, that's what we were about to see. Surge denied us that ass whooping. Boo, Surge, boo on you. How dare you. Rainbow shell. Ooh. Plenty of rainbow shells here. I don't remember where Genesis rainbow weapon is. We might have missed it. I hope not. I ain't going all the way back there. But once once we get it and we fight the uh, the blue, the aqua aqua terror. Uh, she'll be in the party and she will be well equipped Not when I want it, but that's okay. I was gonna tornado them But now I'll just iceberg them Wing shoes. I don't know what those do. Spectral glove. Ooh. Okay. So we got a spectral glove. Come here, Nina. I'm a little sleepy. Oh, long kitty. <laughs> Just a smidge. All right. There we go. Okay, Spectral Glove. I'm gonna give that to Orla. We might be good then. I seem to remember getting the, the carrot after the gloves. Climber burst, aqua ball, that's fine. It ain't plasma beam. That's something. You gotta get rid of the, uh, the middle guy, or else he'll spawn more. At least I think he does. Ah, uh, there's the plasma beams. Wait, which one are you? The blue or the red one? You're the blue one. I don't want I don't want you. Ah, there we go. Yeah, that's why they don't want you. <laughs> What is it, Nina? I love you too. Rainbow shell. Holy he oh, holy healing, let's go. Perfect. Um, nah, that's fine. Oh. <laughs> oh, you dug those nails right in me, Nina. 
Oh, you little, you little so and so. Could this be Viper Manor? What's going on? Yep. We talked with the kids again. Welcome. It's good to see you finally made it here. I've been expecting you, Serge. Where are we? Is this Viper Manor? This is a space that does not exist, but never mind that. More importantly, I have something I must explain to you. My name is Balthazar. In the ancient magical kingdom of Zeal, I was known as a Sage of Reason. Well, that was up until the Queen of Zeal attempted to harness the power of Lavos. Just say things got out of control and Lavos created a dimensional vortex that threw me far into the future. There, I seized the opportunity to study the science of the future. I was then able to apply to that no the knowledge I brought from my own era, including magic, which have been long since lost in the future. Anyway, this led me to make huge progress in the research of time. Well, that research led to the creation of Chronopolis and to the time crash. You might think, it, I, you might think I really blew it, but perhaps it was really my finest hour. Ho ho ho. Anyway, I created a compact time machine that I dubbed the Neo Epic. I used it to time warp to this age to learn of Chronopolis' and Fate's plans, and to see how things were turning out. Terra Tower is really a city of the reptites from another dimension's future. It was originally Dinopolis, the castle of Azela's descendants, who achieved a much more intimate evolution with our planet. Dinopolis was drawn into this dimension's past about 10,000 years ago. This would done so that it would serve as a counterbalance against Chronopolis, which Lavos pulled here. Needless to say, a fierce battle ensued. In the end, Chronopolis emerged as the victor, and the Reptite's fortress was sealed away by fate. More important now is the role the dragons play in all of this. Originally, the whole archipelago of El Nido was known as the Sea of Eden. This was because it was where the dragon gods resided. Then fate sealed away the dragon god's power, in effect becoming a god itself. Thus the islands where the new godhead, fate, existed came to be called the Sea of Eden instead. Perhaps you didn't realize it, but you were used by the dragon gods to eliminate fate. It was not true that, that the dragon god sealed away the frozen flame. Rather, it's quite the opposite. It was fate that used the power of the flame to seal away the dragon gods. In reality, the dragon gods are in opposition to man, while fate was actually the protector of humanity. Whoops. Anyway, the dragon gods were originally a singular plasma life form, a living accu accumulation of the planet's energy. That life form was a biological machine used to control the powers of nature in the future society of the reptites. In order to control the natural energy itself, fate divided the one dragon god entity up into six weaker plasma life forms, then scattered them across the land and sealed them away. Their dragon like appearances are just pseudo guises, temporary forms that they, can, that they take so they can appear in this dimension. But all that changed when fate was vanquished and its power hold was eliminated. At that moment, the seven dragons who had been rendered almost powerless and forgotten traveled across the dimensions to recombine into a single entity. Seven dragons? But there were only six. There were six dragons you knew of and one more hidden dragon you didn't. Like the second moon that once was lost but later was found. Although the same planet my world didn't have two moons. 
Look up at the night sky now and you will see seven celestial bodies, five stars and two moons. Five brother stars that correspond to the five colored dragons ruling like gods over the night skies. One moon that corresponds to the white sky dragon and another darker daughter moon to counterbalance them. The fire dragon, the water dragon, the green dragon, the earth dragon, the black dragon, the sky dragon, and one more. The final dragon, the dark moon dragon, the one who was to work to free the other dragons from their bondage to the fake computer. The child the others created on the night of the electric storm that temporarily caused fate to loosen its hold on them. I believe you knew her as Harley. The dragon gods were the essence of nature on this planet. Perhaps we can consider what's happening as our planet's vengeance on us. To finally sweep away the unwanted humans from the face of this planet. First it was fate, now it's the planet. Or vice versa, but either way you look at it, now is the time to set things right. The future of mankind, the destiny of this planet, everything depends on the next battle you will fight. But unfortunately the time for us to part has come. What? You guys don't have the Chrono Cross? I'm sure we'll meet again soon, in one time period or another. Be careful now, and good luck. Ah, shit, I knew I forgot something. I don't think we got the Chrono Cross. Uh, I don't know if we can get it. We probably don't. Oh, well. Look, if we don't have the Chrono Cross or we can't get it, it's fine. Don't worry about it. We're good. I've already gotten the good ending before. We'll just get... It. You know, the normal ending. Bad ending. There's a switch. Let's push it. Search around black hole. Oh, actually, no, we probably could get it. I know where it is. Yeah, we can do that now that we finish the thing with fate. Yeah, let's go get it right now. I'm in no rush. We're just gonna zoom past all these enemies. I totally forgot. This is the problem with taking a fairly long break from streaming this game. I mean, I've played it. I've played this game before, but even I forget some things. Good thing we unlock shortcuts, we're fine. That's gonna be a... It'll be quick. Quick, quick, quick. All right. Well, since we have cars here, we might as well keep them. He may or may not freak out. I don't know. Never had Karsh uh, in the party like around this time. Here's me made to hold something. Okay. For the tier of love. Okay, cool. Now, yeah, now it'll let us since we did the stuff with fate. Tear of hate. And they'll combine. There's the Chrono Cross. That's the other thing we need. If you don't have the Master Moon, hey, there's the, the achievement. If you don't have the Master Moon, but you have the Chrono Cross, you can go inside a uh, kid's uh, dream past, but you're only there with Surge by his lonesome. 
Uh, if you have the Master Moon, which we do, uh, you, get, you get your whole party with you. But after a certain point, uh, they start uh, disappearing. They go back. Masa Moon doesn't have enough power to keep all of them. Okay. Uh, we finished the green one. Uh, just to be safe, we don't need you anymore. Ah, Viper with me. The old man with me. Oh yeah, we also, you know, hey, it looks so much better now. Added a, there was a mod that, oh my God. uh, oh. Oh, King, with the raid. Thank you, I don't know why I didn't show up on chat. But that's all right. Hey, Goat, what's up? How y'all doing? Welcome, wel welcome, welcome, welcome. Or welcome back. <laughs> welcome, welcome back. Hey. Y'all returned. Going across going. We are we're go it's, it's going well. I am remembering stuff that I forgot to do. Like get get the you know the item the Chrono Cross you know the thing we need for the good ending. And I was like, shit. I didn't remember if it was too late to get it or not. No, I can still get it. So, so we were, we were we just uh, we had to backtrack and we're going back to you know or I had to go. We're almost done. It's literally this dungeon. Uh, and then like the final, like once we're done with this dungeon, I think we have one boss fight and then the final boss fight or after this dungeon, we have the final boss fight. I think it's the boss fight quotes and the final boss fight. So, you gotta pay attention. This... This is a big hint. I already, I already remember. I know what it is. I remember. I ain't gonna spoil it. But that area, that room, is a... Is a oh my god, I pick... I pick... Chose wisely. Alright, Viper. Like, I didn't even think of bringing you here. Like, you were just like, you know what, I'll, I'll bring Viper. But the fact that the next one is a... Hello, Roche, really quick with that. The next boss fight is the green one. We're good. Yeah, I hope OBS isn't disconnected because OBS is, does not like some parts of this game. Defender plus... I mean, if I leave and come back, OBS would be cool. Nah. I don't know what it is, but whenever I play this game, like, OBS is just like, oh shit. I don't know what to do with this. I don't know what to do with some parts. Return our trees. Give back our green forest. Like, I'll lower the bit rate, still issues. I'll increase the bit rate, still issues. I think it's just this game in general. And a motor. Fuck. All right, hold up. Right, hold up. Let, let me... I forgot one thing. Let me peace out for a bit. Okay, cool. Uh, attack first. Oh, an eight color. Uh, 
Uh, Thunder Snake, Flag Bearer. Okay. Yellow Field. I'm gonna get rid of the one recoverall. I don't need that. It's fine. Okay. And we're back. So, because I want to end this fight as soon as possible. I just really hope he doesn't have, like, a counter when I do a uh, yellow field. Uh, just to be safe, let me do a uh, low res. Because he's got a full full green field. He attacks... Well, I don't know who's going to get hurt hard. Not not a Viper. Viper is good. No, we should be fine. Field's not fully green. The attacks Viper were fine. Damn, all, all of these bosses do not like Oral Ha. Huh? Like, at freaking all. Like, they are terrified of her. That fucking Omega Green. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I got. I got a bail. Holy shit. Six hundred. Like the whole point of Surge, living. Is to, you know. Yellow field. Damn. Okay. Yeah, infoscope everyone, because that's what you're going to do. Such a pain. Perfect. All right, surge. Gonna tap. Orla, you're also just gonna. Uh, actually, no. I'm gonna have you do. A... Weak-minded. Just as a precaution. There we go. We're good, we're fine. Survive, Orla, please survive this turn. God damn it. 
What happened last time? It's because since he has multiple turns, like... That feel just... The feel effect just pops up. Okay, Surge. That's all we gotta do. Yellow field. Good. Thunder snake. There's like not that many great yellow innates that have high magic. I think Leia and Mel are are pretty decent. But a viper is pretty good overall. Heal plus, man, that's fine. That's that is quite all right. Yes, sirree. Now it's Orla's turn. Uh, hold up. Okay, so now if Surge dies, it's fine. Okay. There you go. Here's here's my revenge. There we go. Dead. Now we can cast Greenfield. Yeah, Greenfield. Okay. Surge up there. That must be the summit. Look, those two beams coming from either side. I wonder if they act as some kind of sealing device. Okay. So we took, we got, uh, we got yellow taken out. We took out yellow, we took out red, and we took out green. All that's left is blue, black, and white. So I don't remember which order it is. Uh, I was scaling the party. Uh, but that's going to be for next time. Now's that was a good stopping point. Because even though it's just like one, two, three, it is going to take a while because um, I think there's like, you have to take a, there's two different paths. There's like a weird gimmick, I think. Let me take a quick, let me take a quick peek. No, it's just a, it's just a straight, you know, path. it's fine. It's good. I just don't remember which, uh, which dragon's going to be or uh, elemental boss we're gonna fight. Uh, we got three, it's fine, we're good. I can always backtrack and swap party members. Uh, but yeah, thanks guys for hanging out, I appreciate it. Uh, let me just check real quick if there's anyone, uh, that's streaming right now. Uh, Bowie streaming. Okay. I'll send y'all to buoy. I apologies for the uh, no more game audio, but you know, it's not the main window. So of course, you know, everything's got to stop. Uh, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to start uh, recording the 
the streams as well at the same time uh, because OBS crashed on me, which is weird. It's weird that it happened. Uh, really. I'm going to have to start recording them as well. Uh, but thanks guys for hanging out. I appreciate it. Hope you guys uh, have a great rest of your day. I will be back tomorrow uh, with more uh, Legend of Zelda Ages, Oracle of Ages. I'm excited to get continue playing that one. It's It's been fun. Uh, see how far we get in, in that. I think we're in, on our way to level four. Yeah, so we're about halfway done, I hope. But who knows? There, there's a bunch of like, there's a lot more uh, things to do before you go into the dungeon in ages. So it's fun. It's it's not a bad thing. But thank you guys for hanging out. Appreciate it. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, evening, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take it easy.